Well, Eamon, it's quite relevant, actually, that these guys have been learning how to look after little newborn chicks because when the government announced this scheme, it seemed the perfect way for working parents to get the best care for their children while they go out and provide. However, as you say, it's not all going to plan. Uh, now, we've got Dad Mo here and Mum Amy. Now, Mo, first of all, you've had a real issue getting on the system to even get this childcare, haven't you? Yeah, it took us a, a number of attempts over a few years. Uh, but luckily, eventually, we managed to do it. But as you say, we're both working no, parents. We want to provide our best for our, our children. But it is a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. And Amy, you actually managed to get on the system quite easily, but your concerns are about the level of childcare Huey will get. I mean, he has all bells and whistles now, doesn't he? Yeah. But what's your concern? The concern is that, obviously, as a working parent, you get the benefit, ah. but ultimately, in being in full-time education here at the nursery, that actually it may diminish now the actual quality of the care that he's going to sort of receive based on the fact of the cuts that they're going to have to have. So that's my, my fundamental issue with the with the um, extra hours that we're going to get. OK, well, I'm going to give Ruby uh, to Mo to look after while we come out and speak to Julie, uh, who is the owner of this nursery. Now, uh, Julie, you're actually going to be charging parents £8 a day, and you say that's the only way that this place can survive. Is this about profit margins or are you genuinely concerned about the nursery's future? We're, we're genuinely concerned, Katie, and, you know, we hear that all the time. It's all about profits. It really isn't. Nurseries across the country are in the same position that I'm in, uh, as, as well as childminders being expected to work for less than minimum wage. We want the government to recognise that we're in crisis. The sector is in crisis and we need help. We need it to be funded properly. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, Julie. She says they need help. The government says it's investing a billion pounds, but it doesn't seem to be enough, certainly for here.